Today's May 20th, 2019, and this is episode 139 of Flamesaver! Flamesaver! <laughs> oh, thank you guys. It is, uh, what did I say, Monday? Holiday Monday here in Canada, May long weekend. I think it has something to do with the Queen's birthday, so happy birthday, uh, Mrs. Queen. And uh, we are uh, still, still working. Uh, uh, long hours, folks. Uh, we're still here in the big hangar at ENA. Big thank you to ENA for uh, uh, letting us use the hangar this weekend. But Trent is leaving tomorrow. And if you guys have been watching, you know that this airplane is uh, in this air, air in this hangar. 84 foot door, 96 foot wingspan so you know Stella got the wing painted yesterday uh, Spaghetti Don's there he's uh, working on the hey Spaghetti you working on the nav light oh yeah I'm putting on some more of the little metal clips everywhere this airplane is looking real good unfortunately by going outside we're gonna have to uh, watch the weather and uh, let's just head outside here I'll give you guys a quick little weather update the entire time we've been at Montreal, there's maybe been four or five good days. Um, but you can see right now, it's rainy, cloudy, damp, not good for painting outside. So uh, I think painting outside is gonna, go, gonna be a standstill for a while. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's go see everybody, see what everybody's up to. All right, good day, folks. Today we are Still into the um, rigging stage, which like Mikey said yesterday, this is the most unvisual progress. So uh, the f we finished rigging the flaps yesterday. They've been hooked up, they've been dual inspected and safetyed, and we've cycled them a whole bunch of times, and the flaps are completely done. So they're up and good to stay now. So moving on to the ailerons, um, we had, as you saw in yesterday's video, we hooked up or put the ailerons on and mounted them. Now we're getting the cables hooked up to the bell cranks and making sure we get the rigging checked on that. So we are in progress here and then in the meantime we were looking at running the cables for the trim actuator. And on the DC3 there's only one aileron trim actuator and it is located on the right hand side. And uh, one of the uh, new volunteers came today and had him trying to find where the cables are and it's like, well if you just keep looking deeper and deeper you should find them. Well he went looking deeper and deeper and followed it to where the tab is and the, tr the trim drum actuator and all the assembly has been removed in its previous life. So um, we're like, uh-oh, and I'm leaving tomorrow at noon, so I'm going to be able to put a half a day in at least tomorrow. And uh, we're like, so this, I, I hate leaving a job where you're half into the uh, rigging and then taking it on to someone else. You can do a good handover and probably will work, but it's just that ethical thing. It's like, okay, it'd be nice to get it done. So. Through adversity, had the man Ronnie um, give a call back to Red Deer, and lo and behold, we had uh, uh, Curtis Dyson was back there in the hangar working today. So that's good. He's working on a holiday just like we are out here. So Ronnie told him which airplane to go steal from the donor, DTD, I believe. And uh, so, of course, all the courier services are closed today, so everybody's on a holiday. Benjamin's here today, everybody. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bonjour, Benjamin. Bonjour. <laughs> But unfortunately, that deadline is coming closer and closer, so we have to make sure we make that deadline. So we did a little phone call in there, and good old Air Canada Cargo is coming to the rescue. So Curtis, as uh, Ronnie talked to Curtis about 15, 20 minutes ago, he's got the parts in hand, he's boxing them up, he's racing down to Calgary, within the speed limit, of course, and uh, dropping it off Air Canada Cargo, put AOG on the box and shipment, and if he makes the 1105 local flight out of... Calgary to drop-off point it leaves there at 12.05 it gets here at 6 30 this afternoon so we should have our parts tonight so we can run to the, somebody can go to the airport pick it up and uh, if we work a little bit on the midnight hour mode we should be able to get the trims done today we'll have the ailerons rigged like the actual just the deflections and the droops and all that set up but it'd be nice to finish off the trim as well and then when we're done that um, Jean is working on the finishing up cable tensions on the rudder and elevator and of course we get the rat's nest figured out up front and 
uh, yeah, by tomorrow, if the tail feathers are all done and the uh, wing feathers are done, Ronnie and I were kind of thinking about what the heck else is there. There's lots of little stuff, but the big, like, when do you want this flown, Mikey, by test flight day? June 6th. June 6th is test flight, so not even sooner, because it'll be done sooner. If it keeps going like this, that airplane, this airplane will be ready sooner. We're going to do a uh, performance run on it today, or tomorrow, so we're going to pull the airplane out near, closer to the end of the day so we can keep working on it. And then tomorrow morning, um, if we're not doing aileron trim stuff, then Ronnie and I are going to go pick a spot out here in the boonies there and uh, run this old girl to full power, make sure she hits 2700 yeah. So we're going to move, we're gonna move uh, the power runs till tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Just, so, okay. yeah, just so that, because uh, if you're halfway moving and uh, this way it'll give everybody else some time to do that. So we can move out tonight, so that come tomorrow morning because it might take us a little bit of congenguousing to uh, get out of the hangar. I think it's going to be easier in my head. I think we could probably actually get it out of here without even removing the tow bar. That's my next thing. So. Okay, so as we're waiting to hear news from Calgary, see if Curtis got some parts on his way, Facebook just reminded me uh, about how this airplane looked two years ago. Benoit had a, uh, a live video of them pulling this airplane out. I'd like to show you guys. This is two years ago today, this airplane. Ça bouge, c'est beau. Va pas trop vite parce qu'il n'y a pas de fin dessus. Stop, parce que 60 degrés. So folks, that was two years ago today, Benoit pulled this thing out of the ditch. Uh, and here we are, 40 days working on it, and we've came a long way. So I just want to take a quick moment to uh, thank Benoit uh, for having the foresight to save this airplane. His original plan didn't work out. That's where we came in. Um, but uh, yeah, I just want everybody to know, that all, especially all the new viewers, uh, that Benoit is the dude that saved this airplane. Ready? Okay, Trent, what, uh, it's been a couple hours, what has developed? Um, what has developed is we've got the part is en route. Uh, Curtis made it down in time for the one flight anyways. I don't think it's going to get here this evening at about 6 or 6.30, but it'll be here by midnight tonight. And I believe Stella is going to go and pick it up for us tonight and then drop it back off here uh, so that when we show up in the morning and we're going to try and get it here as early like hopefully five o'clock or so if the security will let us in get the part installed and then that will hopefully be the final puzzle for the rigging of the flight controls now um are we going to be doing power runs this afternoon no. tomorrow tomorrow yeah Good morning yeah because then once we push outside tonight we're pushing out tonight right ronnie no, no? Oh, we get to push out tomorrow. John, come over, he said. Okay. We're going to be out by 10 in the morning. 10, so we can stay overnight. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. and that's perfect, because then that way we're not rushing and doing it outside. We've got all the tooling and stuff here to do that. So if we get that'll if we get in here at 5 in the morning, that'll give us a good four hours of, uh, of productive work on that. So Jeff's being the unsung hero of the tail here. <laughs> you haven't seen him much because he's been stuffed in there. Uh, doing God's work, which is all the all the crazy stuff. Jeff, can you give us just a quick rundown on what you did? Yeah, we hook up all the elevator, rudder, all the trim, trim drums, trim cable. Uh, change one of the rudder cable, going from the cockpit to the tail. Now we're finalizing all the rigging and should be should be done in about an hour or two here. We're gonna have to lock it up and put the tail cone on. And she should be good to go. We'll move into the L run after. So tail cone going on, then the tail cone's done, done? Done, done, man. Or uh, we'll be complete. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. yeah. I still have the rudder trim to rig. That's going to be last. Uh, probably tomorrow. So. <laughs> yeah. And Jeff's got a bunch of pictures of us in France in 2004. I'm not going to share them on this episode, but if you guys want to see pictures of Jeff and I, 2004, 15 years ago, we were doing something 
exact opposite. We were cutting up CL215s That's right. in Marseille with uh, quite the colorful crew. And I'm hopefully some of the crew's watching right now. And uh, when, when Jeff heads out, we'll, out, we'll get some pictures and we'll do a montage of, of memories of, uh, yeah. of cool. Marseille. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> well, there it is, folks. That is our holiday Monday. Um, you know, everybody's doing little jobs, nothing too spectacular right now. But all these little jobs add up to something big later on. Uh, I was hoping to do power runs today, but uh, we'll be doing out, uh, power runs tomorrow, which means this is the last night that this airplane is going to be in the hangar until we fly June 6th. Now it might change, but the, the school, ENA is being awesome, is going to need the area. they got exams tomorrow. So the Dornier Learjet have to come in and uh, yeah. So back outside. Um, but yeah, so Stella is going to be running to Air Canada Cargo tonight uh, for like a 1 a.m. pickup. She's going to have the parts delivered here around 2 a.m. And then Trent's going to be here at 5 in the morning to start rigging the, the aileron. Yeah, huge, huge thank you to Curtis Dyson. And uh, yeah, Trent will be working to the last second. And Stella's got to run him to the airport. And uh, yeah, that's today. So. Uh, huge thank you to all the volunteers that came in on their holiday Monday and uh, Yeah, I can't can't wait uh, To see this thing in the air um, And uh, Trent's pretty confident, but you never know what can happen folks. You never know what can happen We still have to work with Transport Canada on some paperwork. Ronnie's still got to do a bunch of the background paperwork with all the, the check and stuff that we're doing and uh, yeah so thank you for joining us on today's episode hope you enjoyed it hopefully uh, uh, you are liking the progress so far and uh, we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow will be a spectacular episode hopefully and uh, wherever you are in the world I hope you stay warm bye